Watashiwa, Texas, no, Ebony Canero, death. I just said, hello, I am from Texas, and my name is Ebony Canero. That was the introduction American teachers used when meeting their education counterparts in Kestanuma. They also used it when meeting the cute kids at Shishiori Elementary School. Did you know that in elementary, junior high, and high school, students do all the cleaning? There are no custodians, and during lunchtime, it is important to be quiet, say your prayer before eating, Edi dakimasu, or let's begin, and once complete, all students must say, go chiso sama, or thanks for the food. Then everyone brushes their teeth. Some schools even have small sacks attached to the student's desk containing their oral tools. The United States requires fluoride in its water system, but Japan does not. And most of the candy contains very little sugar, which means cavities are not as frequent as in the U.S. And ladies, you may not like this, but most PTAs or parent-teacher associations have males as presidents. Women are rarely chosen as PTA presidents. <laughs> high schoolers, check this out. High school is not mandatory in Japan, but 95% of junior high graduates choose to go on to high school. Despite such an orderly and academically focused society, Japan's educational system has slipped in rankings for math and science. Many in the country believe that this is due to the pressures of succeeding in school. And teachers only get mid-July to mid-August off in the summer, and some schools have exams on Sundays. In addition to tests, all students must be involved in at least one club. Clubs can consist of kendo, karate, soccer, baseball, and more. Club activity even extends beyond the five-day school week to Saturday and Sunday. The sports programs in Japan are not the same as those in America. The community does not pay to attend games, so the burden of new uniforms and equipment is placed on the government and one PTA fundraiser per year. But parents, here's a little more information that may interest you. PTA membership is low, just like in the United States. Yet parents pay a once a year fee of around 1,800 yen, which equals 18 US dollars. Most schools are built and funded by the government and local businesses provide 50% of the cost. Many parents believe their children need more homework, but the quandary is that their children love club activities so much. Many of them stay up too late doing homework because they are so involved in club activities. If a student gets behind, they can go to cram school, which is offered twice per week at night. This is where students can catch up. The big catch up is parents must pay for cram school. Here's the cram school rate. 10,000 yen for elementary, 20,000 yen for junior high, and 30,000 yen for high school. In U.S. dollars, that is $100 a month for elementary, $200 a month for junior high, and $300 a month for high school. So if you lived in Japan, you better pass. And what if your family is poor? You have to go to Kumon, which is an after-school program that has actually expanded into the United States. Uh, there's a heavy focus on testing, and uh, so that kind of governs all the curriculum, is based on how well they will do tests. Uh, they're very focused on the textbook. The division of labor amongst the administration and the staff is very different. For example, a uh, teacher's responsibility is all the discipline, any parent-teacher uh, relationships. Uh, they don't get support from their, their uh, vice principals and principals, so if there's a disciplinary problem, the teacher has to deal with it. They don't have um, counselors. They don't have a lot of counseling, so teachers have to take that on as well, and career counseling as well, teachers are responsible for that. So that is a little insight into the Japanese educational system. For the Japan Fulbright Memorial Fund Experience in Hightower High School, I'm Ebony Kanera.